Hey, Grandma, what's that picture? Yeah, Grandma. Do you really want to know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's for my taste daddy hands off. Cool. Yay. Tell us a story about him. Well, if I have to. Yay! Juan Batista de Anza was born in Mexico in 1735. His Spanish father and grandfather had been frontier captains in the military and thought of a new trail to California. Cool! Some people considered Anza as one of the best trail blazers of the Mexican West. Captain Anza thought that a route by land would be safer than one by sea. The mission route used by Father Sarah and Governor Portola in 1769 was no longer safer because the missions were poor and could not give aid to travelers, and the Indians were not friendly. So Juan Batista de Anza proposed a new trail in 1769. After many trials and errors, his route was finally approved in 1773. On January 9, 1774, Captain Anza left Tubac with a guide as Francisco Garces. When they got to the Colorado River, the Yuma, the Yuma Indians helped them ferry across. Francisco Garces left the group in the desert. From there on, their guide was Sebastian Tarpal, an Indian. I'm out of here. Hi, I'm Sebastian Tarpal. Your new guide. Now Anza's party wandered into the desert hopelessly for ten days, trying to find their way. Hut to 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 hut Hey, weren't we just here? Yeah, we were. Oh no, we're lost. Hot to hot to hot to hot to hot to hot to hot. Oh, I am so tired. So am I. Hey, look, a landmark. I know where we are. Yay, a landmark. Take us away, my friend. Follow me. De Anza's party traveled through mountains and valleys and more mountains and more valleys and even more mountains and more valleys until they reached the mission San Gabriel. I'm going wait for me! Here we are at the mission, my friends. Mission accomplished. Yay! Mission accomplished! Then Anza returned to Tubac and talked about how a colony of settlers could be established in Northern California. Yes, it will be very easy, you see. Very well. I would like you to make an expedition. Oh, thank you, sir. I will make plans at once. I will make plans to colonize Northern California. Most people did not want to immigrate to Alta California. In order to get such a big group, the government had to 
take poor people and give them food and clothing to bring along on the trip. And the second expedition left in October 1775 from Horcasitas, Mexico. This time there were much more people and animals coming along. was such a big group, it took a very long time. They ended up spending Christmas of 75 in the mountains. Only one person died over the 165 day journey and that was a lady giving birth to a child. Many child were born during the journey and actually when they ended up getting to Monterey, they had a larger group when, than when they left Mexico. When they reached the mission in San Gabriel, Anza heard that the mission in San Diego had been attacked by Indians. He made a side trip there to help defend the Padres. Goo, goo, goo! Finally, March 10th, 1776, on a rainy day, It's your is rainy. The group of settlers reached Monterey. Anza decided to go ahead to San Francisco and pick out a site for the Presidio and Mission. After a long fight with Rivera about where the Presidio and Mission were in San Francisco, he won and then went back to Mexico and started to complain about the lack of cooperation he had from Governor Rivera. Anza later was Governor of New Mexico. Yippee! The end, my friend. The end. Wow, that was a great story, Grandma. Yeah, I love your stories. Thanks. Thank you, thank you very much. Stay tuned for outtakes. They ended up spending 75 Christmas. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Friends of valleys and mountains and valleys. Cut! Oh, I, I thought Cut it was. Cut the tape, you narc!